Hi Libra, my name is Leona from Superconscious Soul and this is your Libra North Node. So if you want to know how to look up your North Node, go find your natal chart. It will tell you where your North Node position is. So I'm interested in your Libra North Node or Libra Sun. That's what I'm aiming this energy at. So we're looking at moving you towards your highest destiny, towards your North Star. So what do you need to do? Ooh, oh my gosh. Right, so let me put away the ones that didn't flip. So, we have your first three cards. Six of Cups, something's trying to come back forcefully from the past. Yeah. We have the Seven of Coins. They may be wanting to work on something or there's some patience that's needed. We also have Three of Coins, which is talking about some kind of third party situation. It could be that you're waiting for some kind of reunion or some kind of celebration. You could also be waiting for something to kind of pay off, something that you've put a lot of your effort and time into. This is talking about memories from the past, yeah. For some of you, I'm also getting that there's some kind of, or some kind of book that you may be writing on, writing here. Um, let's have a deeper look. So the issue is the Three of Wands. You're making long-time plans, of course. I'm still getting here as well with the creativity. So if anyone's planning on writing a book right now, now's the right time to kind of make that decision. Maybe you've kind of been reminiscing about it. I also see that there could be some building of good energy between um, like a mother and a child or that kind of mother-child um, energy. You could be working on healing um, your relationship with your mother or perhaps your relationship with your inner child. We have the wise woman. This is something that you're keeping secret. It may be some kind of passion project. Could be a relationship for some of you. I'm feeling like you've got some sort of ties to, or you feel like maybe you're in the center of a third party relationship. We have judgment card, which is distracting you. There could be some kind of clandestine relationship, especially with the Three of Cups next to the wise a woman here judgment can talk about something coming out maybe a judgment being made yeah somebody making a clear decision maybe someone's being judgmental about a situation so they're keeping it quiet What's helping you is the devil. Okay. You may feel like you're kind of helping people with some kind of codependency here. Or you feel that you may be releasing somebody from something that's toxic. We have the five of wands, but actually it may be interference. So Libra may be needing to look at um, your decisions and what kind of place that they're being made from, because this can talk about ego as well. Lust, temptation, desire. So needing to look at those things clearly. Yep, there we go. That's the hermit card. Needing to look at that energy, needing to go within yourself. Um, the Hermit card is also talk, talking about celibacy. So, but it could also be about pulling yourself out of a situation, out of some kind of interference. Putting your energy more into some kind of creative pursuit or inner work. So 
self-expression there with the five of wands self-development not allowing your energy to get tied up in um to get dissipated by other people eight of cups in reverse you've kind of been thinking about whether to walk away from this situation or not because in some senses i feel like you want to you want things to be perfect you want there to be this sense of cooperation yeah but it may be fairer to stay out of it Okay, we'll take those two, Knight of Wands and Four of Cups. Somebody's coming in with some kind of offer here. But I think that it's also the Four of Cups. It's like someone's rushing in and it's like the Four of Cups can be about wanting that solitude, wanting that peace as well. Because the Knight of Cup, Knight of Wands, he can kind of go in really recklessly. Three of Coins there as well. So it's trying to balance some kind of third party relationship or some kind of system. Yeah. Could be two mothers and a daughter, two, two daughters and a mother. It could be um, a third party relationship. It could be that there's need to kind of hide some kind of secret from somebody else. Um, or you feel like you've been caught in the middle of something. You're needing to hear your own call with the judgment card. Because I feel like somebody may kind of get over the struggles and then you could be left like with nothing because the the knight of wands can be in and out energy as well the four of cups here is also looking like some kind of fantasy or some kind of date here let's pull some law of attraction Okay, maybe someone's trying to get away with something. We've got somebody here who feels kind of stuck. Maybe they're trying to escape a relationship. Maybe you need to escape this situation. Okay, the Empress here. So that can also be about two things coming together to create a third thing. It can also be about creativity there. Three is the number of creativity. This is also somebody that is pulling back their energy and focusing on, on writing or drawing or creating something. Schoolwork. Here we go, we have the sun. So, the sun card is talking about some kind of clarity that comes in. And I feel like here we have these dolphins and they're kind of frolicking in the sun. I feel like you're giving yourself more stress than necessary because you're trying to maybe fight for something that is going to kind of just come together naturally on its own, possibly. But I do see you self-focusing. We've got wisdom within. The stag reminds you of your pure nature and respect for yourself. You've got believe in yourself. So the energy is very much internal, especially with the hermit. Have the courage to take charge of your destiny. Yeah. 
Some of you, I feel like you're worried about whether to invest in a friendship here, whether it's worth investing in some kind of friendship. We've got the power of joy. You're needing to not worry about other things coming together. I feel like as you don't worry, it will just kind of come together in itself. You just looking at the beauty, looking at the joy, needing to find your inner joy. Are you worried about other people, but you're like needing to worry about yourself in some ways? Find the blessings in your current situation. Yeah, because I feel like you may want to kind of control it in some way with the, with the devil card. And I think as you let go of control and just be yourself, find that wisdom within, especially with the hermit and the stag there, you will realise that the power of joy will transform this situation. Okay, so you've got go now. What else have we got here? Let's take an energy card. I think it's just about removing yourself there. Removing your energy and not needing to kind of fix everything. Because if I feel like Libra wants to kind of balance everything and fix everything. But in this karmic times, people have to kind of... Ooh, sort out their own stuff. I feel like if you get involved, it would cause some kind of hostility here. Let's have a look at your romance angels. We've got a honeymoon. Enjoy the, 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 enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So just enjoying the time, not needing to kind of fix it like I was saying. Finding some way to have some kind of interdependence between the three of you. If you can, how can you raise the vibration? Stay optimistic about your love life. It says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. I also feel like it will heal this situation as well. You've got express your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And it also says children, your love life is being affected by children. So, I think the express your love here is saying that once you're connected to this power of joy, and I feel like once you come from a, that heart space, rather than trying to feel like, oh, I'm going to try and sort all of this out, do I really want to be here, um, getting kind of hostile about it, it's like learning to enjoy each other or to, to find a way to get around something. Let's have a look at your ancestor. Okay, the ancestor who speaks of wild goodness. So there's some kind of need for that freedom, for that wild abandon, for that freedom, finding it in your power of joy, finding it for yourself, not worrying so much about trying to create perfection in others maybe, or trying to create a situation that's perfect. Go within, as within, so without. We also have author. So it is saying, you have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed make the time to write it it's also saying to me that you are the author of your destiny and right now your responsibility even though your north node is in libra it's not to kind of fix everybody it's to find a way to interact or find some kind of interdependence finding a way to to write your story yeah and focusing on you and in turn that energy then manifests outwards in terms of something that everybody can enjoy. So I really do hope this has helped. 
if you would like a, a personal um, reading, all the information is in the box below. Thank you for all your likes, your shares and your subscriptions. I really do appreciate it. Take care. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.